This morning on The Dish, Douglas Rodriguez. The acclaimed chef known as the godfather of Nuevo Latino cuisine wasted no time starting a cooking career. Born to Cuban immigrants in Miami, at age 13, he had his own collection of pots, pans, and cookbooks. By 14, he was working as a summer apprentice in the kitchens of a local hotel. After earning a degree in culinary arts, he began opening restaurants of his own, becoming one of Miami's most celebrated chefs. He's been the force behind Alma de Cuba in Philadelphia since opening in 2001, and is slated to open a new Miami restaurant in the spring. Chef Douglas Rodriguez, what a spectacular table, and welcome to The Dish. <laughs> Listen, I know I finally made it. I'm on The Dish. This is we an finally honor to made it. You're on The Dish. It. We got you. It's an honor to be here, really. Listen, I want to go by the menu a little bit and yeah. talk about some of the dishes, but this dish has been in the repertoire for 25 years. It's wow. a chocolate cigar with an edible matchbook, and the a matchbook actually ignites. Oh, let's try yeah, it. Let's try it. Let's try it while you're so talking. So this is the dish that I'm really known for. I'm the king of ceviche. Yeah. I wrote, uh, wrote, wrote the book on ceviche, and I have a trio of ceviches here. This is um, a lobster ceviche with coconut. This is a cobia, an octopus ceviche. Mm -hmm. This is a tuna ceviche. Here you have a slaw, a Cuban slaw, has 13 oh. different vegetables in it. <laughs> it, it burning the place. You gotta hold it, you gotta hold I it. I got it, it lit for a second. Yeah. I'll keep trying while you keep explaining. Yeah, it's like a marshmallow, you know? When you <laughs> light a marshmallow, it catches on fire. This is our signature entree that's been on the menu since day one. It's our yep. number one seller. It's vaca frita. It's like mm. the Cuban flag on a plate. Nice. It has the black beans, the white rice. And it's the really crispy, good. crispy uh, beef with the pickled onions on the top. And then we have some tomato and avocado salad. I got it, I All got right. it. So that's how we do a happy. Okay, now I have to blow it out. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Jeff. No, I, we went through the whole gambit, and, and our of course we have some mojitos, and we'll do oh, a cheers. the best. Cheers. Some classic mojitos. Cheers. Cheers. The Havana Club, of course. I, I wonder, you know, as someone who your interest for food peaked early, age 12, it sounds like. Julia Child is my mentor, and I wouldn't be cooking today if it wasn't for her TV show. Really? Wow. Nine years old. How did that happen? Just watching her on TV, Saturday mornings, uh, something about her personality attracted me uh, to, to watch her. It was like the mothering touch with the food, and I, I loved her. I just... So you never aspired to be anything else but a chef? Never aspired to be anything else but a chef. Never, never. Never, never thought about And did you always know career. that Cuban food would be sort of your metier? You know, not really. I always wanted to cook Latin food, but, you know, I never went to Cuba till 2013 was the first wow. time I went. Mm. And it really changed uh, a lot about the way I viewed food and cooked food. And I have an appreciation for less is more. You right. opened your first restaurant when you were 21, is that right? Um, yeah, it's, that sounds right. That was Euchre <laughs> Restaurant in, in Miami, yeah. And this, so this came to you relatively young. How, I mean, you've been in the business. How have you changed? How's your food changed in the time since you first opened that restaurant? You know, I, I think the recipes are uh, more refined and more perfect, but... Um, Really, it, it uh, haven't changed a lot. Just focusing better on, on be using better ingredients. I think 15 years ago, we weren't so focused on using the highest quality ingredients. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going you know, back to Miami. For the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, <laughs> the most exciting week in food around the country. I mean, all the chefs, it's like highly competitive, and everybody brings on their A game and wants to cook the best you know, dishes that they can. But chefs from all over the world, really, will be in Miami. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course it will be. I can't imagine any any way in which this food and you in oh. Miami doesn't equal fun. Chef, I'll ask you uh, the question we ask all chefs oh. if they ask you to sign this. So drink. listen, I finally made it. I'm going <laughs> to sign a, I'm gonna sign a like dish. A handprint uh, in front of Man Chinese Theater. Yeah. Um, if you could share this meal with anybody, past or present, who would it be? Uh, Julia Child. <laughs> yes. Yeah, without a doubt. I think she'd like it. Yeah. She needs red wine. I think she's, I think she's, she needs red wine. No, there's got to be a little red wine. Aside from the grandmothers, grandmothers I think she's gotten more votes than anybody here because it's amazing how much influence she's had. Really? On people. Yeah. And rightfully so. Yeah. Yeah. None quite as early as you, though. <laughs> Most nine year olds are watching cartoons. Yeah. But I used to not... have to fight to watch Julia Child. <laughs> well, good that you won the control over yeah. the remote. Yeah. Chef Douglas Rodriguez. Thank you and congrats. Thank you. For more on Douglas Rodriguez and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.